Today we're going to be trying out a new series for you guys called How to Take. This will be from areas of different maps that have control and can lead to round wins and is also just very important to have. Today we'll be going over Banana and how we should be taking this area of the map. Let's first take a look at the car Molotov. I still see people messing this up all the time and it is very important that you throw it correctly. The perfect car Molotov is thrown by lining up the top part of this construction with the bottom part of balcony and run throw. Make sure to keep your crosshair on the bottom of balcony while running at this point. This will spread to not allow any orpers to peek from this position of car, allowing for you to have this control of banana. This is another way you can also throw the car molotov and probably a more common way as well. If you aim up to where the blue part of the wall ends and run throw, this will land in front of car for you. This does spread behind car, but you do need to be aware and give it some practice as well. It doesn't always go behind behind car okay so make sure you do practice this before throwing it as it isn't always reliable and sometimes it does bug out and just doesn't go behind car at all now that we've spoken about the car molotov i will move on to how to flash as a t to take the initial fight on towards banana the common flash for 128 tick is thrown as so get on the end of this handrail towards t spawn aim at the top left of this window and use a jump throw bind this flash will pop behind the tree being very hard for the ct side to react to and this flash will essentially allow your teammate to fight towards banana at the start of the round with a lower risk of giving up a first kill to the enemy team you can also throw a similar flash from this position as well this one works for 64 tick as well not just 128 tick as it isn't using a jump throw in this situation just aim on the second wire and step throw this flash also works great as a banana flash and is actually the flash that inters uses for gambit we also need to look into how to deal with ct utility as we all know from our experiences on inferno that banana is just full of utility from both sides after you throw the initial car molotov you can jump towards the mailbox and essentially just wait out any ct utility that they throw depending what level of players you guys are up against they may have a lineup to flush you out in this position but that is a little bit uncommon if they do this however then i would rather you use your smoke to put out the molotov and stay in this position then you save your smoke and have to get up banana completely you can also from the same position you're in use a flash against the wall to push yourself out and just to take a fight on towards car if there is a player now waiting there for you to peek from mailbox so now that you've taken this first part of banana you are wondering how you will go about taking top banana control here is a cool pop flash for half full that you or your teammate can throw in order to enable this control of the map you get on the pipe of bottom banana, aim at the top of this balcony support beam I guess you could call it, and as close to the wall as you possibly can be without the flash hitting the wall. Crouch and left click throw and this will be an amazing pop flash for top banana. As you can see every single angle here is just full flashed, even the close orp angle will get flashed from this. And it's amazing because the enemy can't even hear it being thrown as it's being thrown from bottom banana. Before you throw this pop flash however, you really want to think about what other utility you want to combine with it. Here is a molotov for pool that you can throw as an example, pushing back an orpa who may be in this position. Push yourself in towards the corner of logs and aim just at the bottom of this corner, just using a simple left click throw and it will put a lot of pressure onto the CT orpa. Another option you also have is throwing the sandbags molotov to make sure this position is clear. Make sure to throw it correctly as I've seen many people just throw it like this and it not clearing out sandbags at all. Make sure to aim on the corner here so it lands deep enough to properly clear out this position. A combination that you can throw here is that I've seen Flusher throw back in the past. He was throwing the sandbags molotov again, make sure it lands perfectly, then throwing a HE straight away afterwards towards the corner where an AWPer would be. This way it will do damage to an AWPer if there is one in this position but it will also do damage towards the player who is getting flushed out of sandbags trying to fall back. Combine this with the pop flash that I showed you to get top banana control. Now that you have banana control, it's important to think about how you are going to keep it. CTs do like to use a pop flash to retake this area of the map, and because of this, you'll need to have one player playing anti-flash just staring at the wall. This player needs to make sure that they react when they hear the pop of the flashbang to be able to take the duel onto the CT who's going to be pushing with the flashbang. The other player here you can have on top banana can just be sitting on half wall just holding the corner like so. As soon as they get flashed, they should just shoot a little bit before hiding behind the wall. This shooting will draw the attention from from the CT side in that position, allowing for your teammate that is playing anti-flash to take the duel on towards the CT player and hopefully win the fight. And even if they don't win the fight, it's not the end of the world because you can also just re-peek and then trade your teammate one for one while also keeping top banana control. 
Overall, please take bananas systematically. Don't rush and take the entire thing in one go. Make sure to take bottom banana first, then compose yourself, slow down a little bit, then take top banana afterwards. You can do this with all the utility I've shown you in this video. And if you like the video, it does help me out a lot. Please hit the like button to show you've enjoyed it. And also if you want to see more videos like this. It's been Glaze guys, and I'll speak to you very, very soon.